Right. There are uh, three mechanisms of filtration. Okay. So if you imagine having a filter, so do I have a picture of filter? Okay. So things like this. Okay. This is a filter. You have a rapid filtration and you have a slow uh, sand filter filtration. So, so uh, the suspended solid that are traveling from the sedimentation process, so they will get stuck at this uh, filter. So there are three uh, mechanisms acting on it to make to make that uh, to make them uh, get stuck at the filter so the first uh, mechanism is mechanical straining so what do we mean by mechanical straining if you can see from this diagram okay, you have a bigger size of particles compared to the size of porosity okay this is a strainer okay they have smaller size of uh, poros poros size. So this is spaghetti. All right. Thank you so much, Doctor. If you uh, boil them, okay. So in order for you to take out the the spaghetti, you'll be using a strainer like this, okay. So the size of the spaghetti is so huge compared to the size of the porous size of the uh, strainer here, okay. So uh, this is the mechanism of removing this bigger size of particles or this uh, bigger size of objects is called mechanical straining, right? Okay, that is the first one, mechanical straining. So the second mechanism is electrolytic action. Right, so at this situation, the particles are actually charged. Most uh, particles, most uh, uh, suspended solids okay, in water are negatively charged. So sometimes because of the friction with the uh, medium, okay, we will call this thing as medium, okay? And sometimes the medium are also charged uh, with uh, the opposite charge, okay? Positive charge, for instance. So because of negative uh, meeting the positive charge, they will get attracted to each other and get stuck to each other. So this is an, another method of removing uh, particles, okay? First one was mechanical straining because of the size of the solid is greater than the size of the porosity. Now we have different charge, okay? The medium have different charge compared to the... the the, the solid waste, I'm um, sorry, not solid waste, okay, uh, the suspended solid, okay, they have different charge and that they get attracted, so they get stuck like that. And the third uh, mechanism is sedimentation and absorption. Okay? If you look at this diagram, you can see that the size of suspended solid is smaller than the size of the porosity. But nonetheless, because of this uh, void here, okay, uh, is covered with a gelatinous coating, okay. So this smaller size of particles, once they enter this uh, void, okay, and since the, it has a very sticky surface, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for that word, okay, sticky surface. So it it is actually get glued on the surface, okay. So now, although they have a smaller size, we assume that it may just pass through uh, this uh, void, okay? But because of the uh, gelatinous coating on the surface, so they get stuck or they, they are glued to the surface and they are left on the filter, okay? So there are three mechanisms occurring in the filtration process whereby these three mechanisms are acting simultaneously, okay? So there are certain particles that have greater size. If you imagine in the water, you see uh, different size of particles. Some particles are bigger size and they actually uh, seeing a smaller size of void. So they get stuck there. So the mechanism for them to get stuck is through uh, mechanical straining. And some other particles, they are differently charged with the medium. So they will get attracted to each other. So that mechanism is also called, is, is called as the electrolytic action. And some other particles, although they are smaller in size compared to the void, okay, but they get stuck due to the gelatinous coating on the surface of the medium. So these three occurring simultaneously. Okay, we don't have, today we have a mechanism of mechanical straining during your filtration. And then tomorrow you have electrolytic action. That, that's not the case, okay? These three mechanisms occurring simultaneously at the same time. 